You Alexander? Can I have your autograph? Anytime, mate. You know, between you and me, you're the first one that's ever asked. Are you serious? Thanks. Have a good game. Enjoy the match, man. Well, we're in a 21st century setting, Southampton St. Mary Stadium, and Alan Smith has joined me, Martin Tyler, to describe the action for you here. Leicester City. Southampton in action today against Leicester City. Hunter available again for Leicester City after returning from his loan spell in championship football well he was top scorer wasn't he at his loan club I think he enjoyed it but he's uh, he's needed here his old mate Gareth Walker's left and they've been knocked out the Champions Cup so they do need his ability here's the Southampton team for you well it's the old joke isn't it Alan diamonds aren't forever but they are for this game anyway for this manager yeah, it looks that way doesn't it We've got those lads on the side of the diamond quite wide, but I think they might tuck in when they haven't got the ball just to try and stay nice and solid through the middle. This is the Leicester City lineup. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. Very different to the old Dell ground, where Southampton we had to be shoehorned into the stadium. Massive only 15,000. It's much bigger here at St Mary's and it's very much a, a symbol of the modern day development of the football club, Southampton Football Club. Yeah, it's a nice ground. It's, it's similar to quite a few in in England these days but the Southampton fans have, have come along and they get good crowds here at St Mary's now Stephen Davis comes in with a tackle Mendy Virgil van Dijk On to the attack now. Well, he's threaded the pass through neatly. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Oriol Romeo. In left. into the attacking third and that was a very well timed tackle well we're wondering and hoping indeed Alan that we might see another exhibition of Algerian art from Riyad Mahrez well he's just a joy to watch isn't he he can go either way I know he's stronger on his left side so whoever he's up against here be well uh, advised to show him down that right flank He's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Now Kane. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. 
Oriol Romeo. Here's Davis. Bertrand. There's good progress with this attack. Trying to find Shane Long in the center. He had to clear it even at the expense of a corner. Alex Hunter takes another step, which I'm sure will be in the right direction for his career and for his club. And for his manager, who really does speak very well of the youngster. He does, and I think the manager needs him, doesn't he? He needs that exuberance, that enthusiasm and energy that Alex provides to this team. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Hunter trying to find a way through. A timely challenge. Jordi Classic. Well, what amused me about Leicester's success in that wonderful Premier League campaign was seeing the rest of the world try to learn how to pronounce their name. Leicester, Leicester, we got a lot of that, didn't we? But very much Leicester and very much the leaders. Yeah, I don't think anybody needs reminding now of uh, how to pronounce it. They've become a, a big name on the world stage and those players have too. They'll go down in folklore. Danny Simpson. Well, we try to deal with facts here, Alan, don't we, rather than rumours, but there's been a lot of speculation about the departure of Gareth Walker. The fact is, he will be leaving this club. Yeah, it was a shock to hear it into the club. But... Mendy, really snatched at the shot, and it's gone well wide. Bumped into Jim Hunter down near the dressing rooms before the game, and uh, delighted from his point of view, he was saying to get back to be watching Premier League football because Alex has returned to the Premier League. Well, I think he would have learnt a lot in the Championship. It's going to be tough to survive at that level. But uh, he'll feel that he belongs in the top flight and he's got a chance here to shine on the stage. Oriol Romeo. Now Austin. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. Now they've got to try and regain possession. Now Hunter. Just working away to try and find an opening. And shoots! Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. Fuchs. Mendy. On the attack here. Read the play well to intercept. Here's Davis. Green. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that the rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. It's Charlie Austin. It's looking good, this move. Some options now for the pass. Reed probing away trying to find room for a shot maybe brilliant team play this with the passing the movement off the ball to make the passing possible and now a throw in well, I guess he was aiming for a teammate but he certainly didn't find one inlet Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Attacking well here. 
Austin. Well played. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. The referee has indicated and the verdict on added time, time is two, two minutes. minutes. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Oriol Romeo. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Well, the word average comes to mind about his first half. What do you think, Alan? He worked hard enough, but just didn't come off for him. But he's got another half to put things right. Five minutes to go as we start the second half. And it will be their throw. Well, here comes the support. back the interceptor got it for them that's very good link up play Jordi Classic here's Davis Cedric a lot of defenders between them and the goal but they still got the ball the shot's on! Gone for goal. Spectacular style. Wow. I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. Coming onto the bench. Number four, Well, he's got options on the bench, of course. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Reed. Here's Cedric Suarez. On to the attack now. Excellent passing. Great interplay. Oh, he showed great anticipation there. Here's Davis. Was a chance to really get in at the goalkeeper running off the defender but he's run offside an easy one for the linesman he was a good couple of yards substitution coming up He's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Oriol Romeo. And they're passing so well out there. Tackle goes in. Good possession play. But now it's been taken away from them. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. Now Van Dyke. Jordi Classy. Stephen Davis. Strong challenge. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Doing well to keep the ball. They've got the ball back by that interception. Supporting player alongside.
Good passing here. Comes in with a tackle. Now it's with Hunter. They're on the attack here. He's got his shot off now. Super goalkeeping. Now that's a throw. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Fuchs. Austin. Saints are going to make a change. Here's Harrison Reed. Jordi Classic. Ryan Bertram. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Classy! Goodness me, it's hit the post. Throw in now. We are going to see a substitution now. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. In midfield, they've got it back via an interception. He's coming forward with some danger. Well, this is how this team can play. Sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Well, the clock's showing uh, nine minutes left to play. Stephen Davis. Cedric. Reed. A little private game between the two of them. Reed. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Very weak challenge, and there is some uh, backup for him in this position. And he's made it with his hands. How much difference that could have made? Well, I don't know whether Nerves got the better of him because he was aware of how important it was to score there. It was a bold move. Extra attacker on, and it's good to see as they try to go on and win this game. Well, I think we all like to see that so often these days it's just a lone striker but uh, with two up top you give yourself an extra chance Alex Big day for you today, making your first Premier League start. Yeah, amazing. It's been a dream of mine ever since I was a kid. I just want to thank all my teammates for helping me through it and totally buzzing right now. Alex, your thoughts on how the team was set up today? Yeah, the gaffer got it spot on today. Really set us up to cause the opposition problems and let us play our game, so all credit to him for that. And that'll do, I think. Thanks, Alex. Anytime. This was a good win, I think. Well, it never gets boring, does it? <laughs> you can say that again, amigo. I think this victory calls for a celebration, don't you?
Alex. No need to say this won't take a minute. Just wanted to give you a heads up. You'll be in the stands for our next FA Cup match. What? FA Cup matches aren't like anything you've ever played in before, lad. It's all blood and thunder out there, and we're going with experience here to get a good start. Understood? Yeah. Martin Tyler here for you, along with Alan Smith, of course, and our football today is from the Premier League. It's Burnley today against Leicester City. quality of management is how to handle young players particularly very good young players Alex Hunter's been in the team he's been on the bench he's now been out of the squad altogether today he's back yeah and he'd be eager anxious even to perform well what he has got his energy legs bit of pace and I think that's what this team needs you know this is the Burnley lineup so Alan 4-4-2 yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. This is the Leicester City lineup. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required i think so if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield very few clubs in england have the depth of history that burnley football club have having got to the premier league for a campaign 14 15 they relegate again Probably finding it hard financially to compete at the very highest level, but never underestimate what Burnley bring to the game generally. Great people, great town. It's only a town, and uh, it's amazing that they have such support. It is amazing. You, you walk into the ground and it's almost a throwback. It hasn't been modernised a great deal, but you get that old-fashioned welcome. It's an invaluable quality to have as a football club. Tackle goes in. And there's the interception. John Flanagan. Stephen Defoe. Marnie. Well, they're in a good position here. 
found his teammate well. Saw the goal and went for it. Oh, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right place at the right time. Just couldn't uh, provide the finishing touch. Could have kept the ball, but he didn't. Marnie. There's some potential in this move. He went in well. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. Here's Gray. Looking to play his teammate through. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Well, that has cost them, but only a corner. It could have been worse. It's a heading chance now. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Able to ease the pressure by that interception. We like to see this from a referee playing the advantage. Good challenge here. Well, he's threaded the pass through neatly. He could cross it now. Hunter. Hunter! Goal, Hunter. There he was, and very, very coolly taken. Talk about passing the ball into the net. Well, there is a prime example. Well, let's take another look at the goal. So the first goal, it's 1-0. That's the City goal, number 29, Alex Stephen Defoe. got a great understanding this team just look at the passing building steadily here keeping possession good position they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now good place to win the ball back there because the pressure was starting to mount and the interception was timely to say the least inlet Hunter. Oh, he showed great anticipation there. On to the attack now. Oh, he's beaten his marker. Support. And here's the shot. Shot blocked here. On oh, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. Very well done with the inside of the head as well as the outside. Good pass. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. And in goes the cross. The defender's done very well there to stop the cross. No doubt that's a corner. Clear it here.
on the attack here and the cross is in well they got it wide very well the chance to get the cross in but it's not turned out to be a very good delivery made the challenge well here's Hunter that's a poor touch and the possession's gone away it's looking good this move through pass they've gone wide chance to get the ball in the box now can he make the move shot on he's blocked the shot well well a corner to come because of that deflection Goalkeeper comes out with a punch. Here comes the cross. Makes a challenge here. Well, that's going to be a free kick. They've coped with it well defensively. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. And shoots! Well, the pressure of getting his team level maybe got to him because he's made a hash of it. I just wonder whether at the end of this match they'll look back on that chance as the one that cost them dearly. Full play back because it was handball. <laughs> and he heads it for goal. And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. That is a great goal of its type. Perhaps don't see as many as we used to of it, but the cross made the header so possible. Yeah, it is still one of the, the best sights in football, and I think supporters enjoy it. Spectacular header. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Half time now, and 2 0 is the score at the break. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him, good overall performance, actually. Whistle from the referee, and we're off and running again for the second half. Danny Simpson. Got the tackle in. Hunter. Into the attacking third. 
Now Hunter. Opportunity now. Oh, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right place at the right time. Just couldn't uh, provide the finishing touch. Gurkhan Inla moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Change coming up for Burnley, I think. Looking to play his teammate through. Ben Mee. He's got it away. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. Now they've got to try and regain possession. That's neatly done. Good challenge by the defender. Very good control, though. They might open them up now. It's Alex Hunter. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Mendy. And the ball played to Mendy. Made the challenge well. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Well, they move forward again with Alex Hunter. <laughs> Stephen Defoe. There's good progress with this attack. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Throw in to come. I know, Alan, this is one of your favourite referees, and he's done well here, hasn't he? He's come back and done the booking, having let the play go on earlier. Yeah, exactly. You've got to give the advantage to the team in possession he did that so and he also punished the offender the well the manager's going to make this substitution from a winning position of course and the fact they are winning is down to the player that he's going to bring off now yeah i think he was maybe tiring a bit last five minutes and his manager clearly wants to protect what is an important player coming on to the pitch number four danny Trinkwater. Twenty minutes now, remaining. On the Burnley bench, there is movement afoot. Hunter. It goes out wide again. Here's Hunter. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Spotted well by the defender, cut it out. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Ah, 
far field. Tackle here. Nicely played through ball. And now the shot. Bounce back off the post. First touch was good, but he's got to work hard to keep the ball. Intercepted well. Shots on here. Well, it's uh, a long way off target. Coming off the pitch. Number nine, Sam Vaughan. Coming onto the pitch. Well, there are other options from the bench. Bernard. Looking good, this move. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Terrific tackle. The fourth official has indicated two minutes of added time. This is what it says on the board. He's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception, made it look easy, actually. And there we are, the final whistle has gone here. The referee's called a halt at 2-0. Just looking down, the manager's got a smile as wide as the pitch because it's been a near-perfect day for him and his team. Yeah, definitely. A clean sheet and uh, one or two goals into the bargain so they can move on with confidence. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Good performance from him. And uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.
Martin Tyler here for you, along with Alan Smith, of course. And our football today is from the Premier League. And the match for you today, Swansea City against Leicester City. Swansea City. Here is the Swansea City line. Number one, Lucas Fabianski. Number 22, Abigail Oranga. Number two, Jordi Anna. Number 33. This is Swansea City's team for you today. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own right, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. This is the Leicester City lineup. Two banks of four. 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see it quite so often these days, but uh, that's a classic formation and uh, really capable of causing problems here today. When Swansea City were playing at the old Vetch field and they're in the fourth tier of English football, you just couldn't have imagined but they'd have a home like this at the Liberty Stadium and they'd have a team like this. That's incredible, isn't it? We don't ever really talk about Swansea as potential relegation candidates. You look at the stadium, it, it's all set up for top-class football. And they've had some good footballers in here. Thank you, Liberty Stadium. Where Leicester City were so surprising in 15-16. Claudio Ranieri, veteran manager, never won a domestic league as a manager. Uh, he came in, everybody thought he was going to get sacked straight away. Lots of media experts were predicting that and with a bit of justification to be fair to them because it was so amazing what happened afterwards yeah, it was and didn't he uh, conduct himself with charm and humility and humor he was a breath of fresh air to our game and a really likable fella Danny Simpson here's Harry Kane Here's a chance to attack. Came in with a challenge. Jack Cork. Hunter. He is never giving a defender a moment's peace today, Alan. No, he's, he's a defender's nightmare because he closes down so quickly. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And it's gone behind for a goal kick. Oh, just worried about the rain only in that it's uh, impairing a bit our visibility of the proceedings out there on the pitch. Yeah, well, nice and dry up here, but uh, unlike the players, uh, who will be pretty wet after five minutes. Rangel. Britain. Tabanu. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Jack Cork. Good forward play from them. Strong challenge. Looking to play his teammate through. They cope with it well defensively. Christian Fuchs. Fuchs. Through pass. Looking for an opening with some shots off. Gone for goal in spectacular style. Well. Wow. I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. Well, 
Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. And now a throw in. No wasting of time in that situation. On to the attack now. Gets his foot in there. Well, this is how this team can play sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Stop the game for the free kick. Have we got a situation here, Alan, where the home team are happy with the draw? The away fans are getting a bit restless now, aren't they? They think there's a bit of time wasting going on here. Well, I think they had a better team on paper at least. It hasn't quite worked out that way in this match, but uh, still time for them if they do get enough time from the ref. And he's tried, uh, tried his luck, but over the crossbar by a lot. Well, you could see what he was trying to do, and he's just, just too high. Yeah, but I think the keeper's saw that all the way, and uh, he was comfortable. Got the tackle in. That will clear the danger. Jack Cork. Gone for the through pass. That was a foul. The referees allowed the game to go on. He's entitled to do that. Alex Hunter. And the ball played to Mendy. Referee sees that as a foul, and it is a free kick. Jack Cork. Jefferson Montero. Tabanu. Not rushing it here. Moving. Now, what is the referee going to do here? Defender to it first. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Gilfi Sigurdsson. Leon Britton, confident, oh, was promising the build-up there, but the pass finally cut out after they kept the ball quite nicely. Ball played to Mendy, gets his foot in there. Leon Britton. Jefferson Montero. Britton. Promising build-up until that challenge. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Building steadily here, keeping possession. He could lay it off to the supporting player. He's got his shot off now. Fantastic save. And the ball's gone out for a corner.
the ball's got away from him. Three minutes to be added on. Jack Cork. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. You like to see a team playing the ball forward to open up the opposition, but the defending was good there by the opponent. Well, that is half time, and the score is nil nil here. Well, that has been a long first 45 minutes. Not too many goal chances, and not too many real passages of play to get us excited. No, nearly nodded off there, I've got to say, in that first 45 minutes. Just hope it gets better. Now, this is interesting whether the manager is. Just going to switch things around a little bit. Coming onto the pitch, number four, Kinson Moore. So the referee's happy, and the second half gets underway. Rangel, excellent interception. Tackle here, attacking well here. typified the competitive nature of this game that tackle it's only a throw in poor throw straight to the opposition hunter could get the ball into the box now they cope with it well defensively Tabanu. Sung Yung Ki. Jack Cork. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Hunter. Now, this could be interesting. Pushing numbers forward in this counter-attack. Well, they've lost an opportunity here. Trying to break. Rangel. Good forward play from them. Down on the bench, some activity for Leicester. gone out for a throw in. Well, he's got and options on the bench, of course. To be replaced by number four, Danny Sung Young Ki. And the cross coming in. And it's a headed effort at goal. Good defending. Well, we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. Christian Fuchs. Here's a chance to attack. Won it back with an interception. We're getting a substitute ready, Swansea. Sung Young Ki. Spotted well by the defender, cut it out. The ball played to Mendy. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. Well, there are other options from the bench.
Danny Simpson. Well, it's good progress with this attack. Hunter. Well, he could go for goal from here. Free kick taker, he willed away in celebration, Harry Kane. Another fine goal from the Englishman. Well, this replay will clear it up for us, Alan, I think, how much of a deflection it was. But the free kick taker clearly believing it's his goal. Yeah, I'm not sure whether the keeper would have got a hand on it, whether he would have saved it. And the deflection helped him, though, the free-kick take-up. Had to wait a while to get the first goal of the game. He sensed it was coming, it's finally arrived. 20 minutes now, remaining. Emnes, Jack Cork. Attacking now, just working away to try and find an opening. Now he's looking for support. A couple of options for him from the free kick, whether to go for goal or put it to where his teammates are lining up. A substitution coming up as they look to make sure they hold their lead till the final whistle. Useful position for that free kick, Alan, but not uh, quite the moment that they want. No, the keeper seemed fairly comfortable with that, so it coming all the way. Nathan Dyer. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Deflected out for a throw. Sung Young Ki looking for an opening with some good control build up. He's better usually at crossing. Shots on here. Good work by the goalkeeper. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Oh, good through ball. Now the shot! Gone for goal. Spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there.
Well, the atmosphere's improving now. Now the home team need to improve. They're still in with a shout. Yeah, time is running out. It's now or never. I think they've got to lift the game. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Rangel. Well, he's caught offside, trying to get in behind. He'll say that the pass should have come a bit earlier. He can afford to give those defenders a yard or two, you know, because he's quicker than them. The number's gone up as far as added time is concerned. It's four. Well, that's a, a good amount of time to try and get the equaliser. And maybe they might just think they could win this match. There's some potential in this move. The pass not completed, really. This is a chance for an extra goal from this corner in the final minutes of the game. Looked very good indeed, but the well, the referee has blown his whistle and the game has ended 1-0. Very efficient from the goal scorers today. Not many chances, not many sighters from them. They took the opportunities that came their way. Yeah, so encouraging to see, but from, uh, from the point of view of the other side, plenty of shots and uh, didn't work the keeper enough, Martin. Well, let's get Alan's thoughts on the performance today of Harry Kane. Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality. And a good
let's let's Right, better get going. Big day for you tomorrow. This is a cup game, Granddad. Hey, there's no such thing as just another game in the FA Cup. This is the toughest cup competition in the world. Now, you do well to remember that. But don't mind him. But it's the only trophy he never won. He might not admit it, but that's the biggest single regret in his whole career. You go out there and do your best. Night, son.